Let's look at what some believers do. Now, I know that you're all academics and you're all moderates, and I'm thankful for that because I don't want to be macheted. But you see the point. Some believers are fundamentalists. Some believers are radicalized. And the problem is they get up to some pretty horrible stuff. I'm not going to read these out. I'm going to assume you can read. You shouldn't be here if you can't. Some of those atrocities are committed because people believe that they have another life to go to. That this isn't their only existence. That thought devalues life itself. Because what's promised is magic. It's eternal. It's bliss. It's got everything you could wish for. So this life now is puny and trivial. And you can get up to all sorts of things here because it doesn't matter. All you've got to do is ask for your forgiveness and say a few prayers and you will go up there where life is perfect forever. The idea that we can live on after death devalues our real existence and takes away our responsibility to behave well towards each other. Assuming that you can die for a God, that dying for a God is a good thing, inspires mass murder. Let's take a look at it from my point of view. Wouldn't that be absurd? Look, here we have an atheist bomber who is dying to please no God. I don't know if you, did you get a chance to read the Quran or look into Islam before coming to this debate? Not a lot, I, okay. I confess. Okay, if you had, you probably would have you know, changed some of the slides that you had there because you, you had some generalizations that you shared there. Again, you shared some of your opinions in regards to you know, what religious people do or have done, etc. Now, your book is full of such examples as well. You obviously predominantly you attack the Christian tradition as to some of the bloodshed and, 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 you know, and the, the, the evils that have happened. But just for a second, if I move over here, just to uh, share this with you. Now, I would agree with you, obviously, now throughout history, religions have been, and there have been some pockets of Islam and Muslims too that have done some atrocious things, no doubt. I'm not denying this. But so have the anti-theists too. Right, those that deny God. Now, there's a very interesting book that I'd like to give you the reference of. It's called War and Peace in Islam. Definitely have a read. And what the author has done, he's sort of tallied from the year 0 to 2008 the number of death tolls which have resulted from different groups throughout history. And interestingly, Christianity is right up there. And Christianity is right up there with a figure of, let me see here. So it shares the largest uh, with between 119.42 million and 236.66 million victims, right? Medium of 178.04. Interestingly, the second group that's up there, any guesses? Well, I probably atheists, but... Yes, I and would, the anti-theist yes, group. I would contest with, that description. Well, you can contest it with the yes. author of this book. Uh, I'm sure he would like to hear mm. from you. So it has a figure of 124.41 million deaths from the year zero to the year 2008. So look, if we're gonna play a numbers game, John, as you've done in your book as well, it, the, 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 it goes both ways, right? So it's not really an argument against religion. Now, you mentioned something about, you can do whatever you like in this world and you'll get paradise up there. Well, that's not the Islamic tradition. Let me just give you some information regarding what we believe as Muslims. This life is extremely significant from the perspective of how we engage in this life. We are told to do good, live as upright human beings, serve humanity. And it's for doing the good that we do in this life that we get an eternal paradise, right? And there's a stark warning for those that don't do this. Because paradise isn't, it'll just be given to you because you do whatever you like. You have to put in the work here. So there's a very interesting um, philosophy there that I really recommend that you look into further.